a new week begins and uh, this week I am going to take it easy. I know I said I was going to last week, but I really am. Just a couple of 5Ks in the week, or around that 5, 6K. And at the weekend, I have got a big long run planned. I'll share that with you as the week progresses. But today, it is Tuesday. It's just about warming up the legs, getting out, making sure things are still ticking over nicely, keeping it local, keeping it flat, and just, yeah, starting the week in the right way and giving myself a chance this week to recover, absorb the miles, and treat myself well. k done 520 per kilometer average really pleased with that that was a nice run good fun point to point basically from the post office uh, to home so good way to start the week and uh, my next run will be tomorrow probably again just five or six k we'll go and see the animals see how they're doing this week and uh, same again thursday and on thursday i'll let you know once it's confirmed just how far I'm going to be going on Saturday and who with. It's Thursday today. So the plan was to do a 5k three days in a row, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Decided last night that I would prefer to do something more on the Thursday. Ben suggested that I join him for a bit of a summer trail running. So I'm in Jim Shark stuff today. Not my usual attire, but I thought I'd give it a go and see what it's like. It's supposed to be 10 degrees, but it doesn't feel that warm. Hopefully it warms up. Anyway, let's get running. So, just up in this core at the moment, heading down this lovely terrain here. Good opportunity to roll your ankle. And actually I'll be up here again on Saturday because I'm actually going to try my best to get another marathon under my belt or near to that distance, more than 20 miles anyway. And we'll be doing it with uh, Chris from here while running. I'm showing him initially the Farnham to Guildford route and then we're going to carry on and he's going to do, I think, well, 30 miles on the day. He's going to run to Rygate, but I'm going to stop at the Stepping Stones, just because that's where my pickup location is. So it'll be nice to get out again with him. And it just means that both of us have got a good understanding of the route ahead and the course. Obviously, as you know, I've done a lot of work from Farnham to Guildford and I'm pretty comfortable now. Farnham to Dorking and that takes us to about halfway anyway so if we can both get comfortable with the halfway mark that's a good good sign for us in the 50 mile route. The walking portion of today's run uh, I could maneuver up here at a jog but to be perfectly honest with you I could probably walk it just as quick. Uh, today I'm also testing out another Univer gel this time not the Elite the smaller pack because it was quite a mouthful the other day. So a smaller pack just test. It's not a long run, but it's quite a good test on the shorter runs until you're comfortable with them. Otherwise, test on long runs is not always a good idea. All right. Nice view there. Hello. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Here we go. Out in the fields today. Look at the view. background to me. Reached the top of St Martha's and uh, Ben's actually filming today for Martin, the determined runner, about sort of local landmarks and local running sites and things like that. So he's featuring Newlands Corner and St Martha's, two places that we run very often. And uh, yeah, I think it's, of all the places locally, probably one of the most picturesque places. Difficult climb, the sand does well, now we're in the summer anyway, the sand is definitely out and about. And so it's a bit of a challenge, but worth it when you get to the top for the beautiful views of the Surrey Hills on a nice clear day. Okay, so I'm going to try another Univerd. This time it's the vanilla orange. So smaller packet, should be a lot more manageable, a lot more palatable. So let's give it a whirl. 
Oh my gosh, what's that Miller icing? Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, dangerous, dangerously good. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that flavour. Well, yeah, we're making our way up this sort of side of a hill instead of taking the, the main path. Bit of fun. Oh, uh, yeah, camber and elevation. Not the wisest idea, actually. Um, I'm regretting deciding to do this. But, uh, oh well, we're nearly there now. For some reason, I totally forgot to finish off Thursday's run with what I did. It's on Strava if you're interested. I'm about to get into the car and I'm going to be heading towards Farnham now to meet Chris from here we are running to start a bit of an epic journey today. Um, he's going to be doing 50k, I'm going to be doing uh, less than that and I'll explain a bit more when we get to the start point. So I'm here at Farnham Station and Chris will be here in just a moment. He's getting the train here and then we're going to head off on our run. So the idea was that Chris was going to be running 50k today. Uh, I'm sure he still will be. And I was going to join him for most of that. However, when I get to Newlands Corner, I'm going to actually run another 5k on and then 5k back because I can't get a lift home from where he's going to today. So a slight change of plan, but I'm still going to do the distance. It'll be over 20 miles. But what it will be exactly, I won't know until later on. So I'll keep you informed, keep you up to date. We're looking forward to having an amazing run. It's about two degrees at the moment so I've wrapped up a little bit warmer than I wanted to but you know that's the that's the nature of things and uh, yeah looking forward to getting running so just gonna wait for Chris now and then we'll hit the trails right guys uh, five weeks today Chris and myself a number of other runners hundreds or so will be taking part in the North Downs way so we've got five weeks before we come back to this point and uh, yeah we're about to hit the trails and have some fun hey so 2k in first hill we're just walking up it's a nice day bit shady on the first part of the route but uh, I think if we have a warm May then actually it'd be quite nice to start in cooler conditions so so far so good only 2k but every kilometer counts and uh, yeah so I'll catch up with you when we've got more exciting things to look at than this tarmac here all right see you in a moment just coming out the farmer's field uh, getting close to six and a half kilometers the sun is nice and bright wow we're heading back into the woods now, a bit of cover from the heat, and uh, yeah, so far so good. Nice, calm, relaxed pace, and uh, we're just being sensible, just being sensible, taking it easy, and uh, knowing that there'll be a long day ahead of us. Good to get into that mental mindset of just being relaxed and being calm. And here's this little door of mine that I like. There it is, look, 4B, little door there. It's a house to buy. Probably very expensive being here, sorry. Yeah. 10k done. Just run a few Putnam now. This is where the first aid station will be. If you've done the race before, can you let me know in the comments where the aid station is? Is it further down the hill, midway at the top here by the church? Um, I'd love to know, just for, again, building that mental picture. But we're about to go back onto trails again for some more running. 15k, just on the outskirts of Guildford now. That's the hill that I ran up with uh, Chris and Ben for the Ultra twice. We didn't run up it actually, we walked up it. But uh, yeah, so it's nice, nice pace. Not too many people out the trails, a few cyclists, a couple of people interested in where we're going. But uh, yeah, so far everything's going to plan. We know that ahead of us is quite a few sections of steeper climbs, St Martha's Union's Corner, before it kind of returns to flat again. So we'll enjoy this next phase of a few kilometres before we hit the bottom of that hill. This beautiful part here, 17k by the river, and over the bridge in towards Guildford. And uh, yeah, it's quite a spectacle here. It's always a celebration to get to the top of this hill and see St Martha's. We're about 372 for a cent for the course thus far and uh, yeah we're about to catch a glimpse of St Martin's Six kilometers. Uh, when we get to 20, I'll be leaving Chris to carry on his journey. I'll be going back to run home, and uh, we're doing really well. We're on the, the part of the course that's 
not the most interesting. It's pretty flat. It's the bit that runs between Newlands Corner and Dorking. So just, you know, nice and runnable, but not a lot to look at. Just one foot in front of the other. Keep the momentum going and just collect the miles en route. So I'll catch up with 28k while I do my turnaround. And we'll talk about a couple of things as I head home. Okay, 28k. I've left Chris, now running back this way. I just stopped to have a chat with somebody who we ran past earlier. Been about 10 minutes now talking about her first ultra race to the stones. She was telling me how thrilled she is to sign up for a trail race because like I did, she's now discovering the beauty of a local area. And uh, before that, she was just doing a lot of speed running and, and uh, just wasn't really getting out and about in the environment. So, you know, her first ultra, she's starting basically from nothing and she's just committed to having the best time. So it's nice to meet like-minded people out on the trails. Oat lab adaptation today for the outfit. I've got a new Salomon XA cap. Did a review on it, it's an amazing cap. Got it in white and uh, it's been absolutely brilliant today. First run out, it does exactly what you want it to do. Also got my sunglasses, my good sunglasses, just because I wasn't too sure about actually when I might have a time to practice running in them. I'll probably wear them on the day, but uh, obviously for the trails, you want to make sure you can see fully. So it's only for those bright sections that are more exposed that I'll use them. So nutrition today, I had a tailwind, but close to a litre of that. Uh, cliff bar, nut butter, and one Univer gel, the vanilla orange. In a moment, we're actually going to try the, the run ultra butter. I'm getting towards the end of my run, but the idea of trying it later is just in case it doesn't agree with me, I'm not far from the end point. Okay, here we are. We've got the run ultra butter. Uh, what we've got here 18 grams of carbs, 32 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, 400 calories. Let's see what this is like. It's been in my maker band all morning, so it's probably pretty soft. I don't know if that's the intended purpose, but it makes it easy to go down. That's nice. Hmm. So, if you have almond butter or peanut butter on your toast, it's basically, you know, it goes runny. It's that. Definitely to drink afterwards, just to cleanse the mouth, but that's nice. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely palatable. Well, very nice. So I'm finalizing this run today at 33 kilometers. What I also meant to say about that run butter is it's got a uh, sprue cap. You don't need to have all of it at once. I mean, if gels had that, it'd be so much better. But um, yeah, really happy with today's distance. Remember this week was just a, a more relaxed recovery style week. So I didn't feel the need to go too much further. Hey everybody, I realize yet again, I finished one of my daily videos without any sort of sign off. So Saturday, yesterday was great. It was really good. It's been a really fun week. It's been a relaxing week. I haven't done a huge amount of mileage. It's supposed to be a kind of recovery and a down week. So all the mileage that I've done, I'm really, really pleased with. Here's the overlay now, just to show you what, what I've been up to. But if you've been following along through this video, you'll know there's not a lot of runs that have taken place. But what I have done, I feel is relevant and helpful and beneficial towards the big goal. I know the people who did the South Downs Way 50 yesterday did a really, really good job. It looks like the tracking is going to be in place um, from the team who've put the race on, the race director. And um, yeah, I think the fastest mail time was six hours and two minutes, which is pretty rapid, isn't it, for a 50 mile race? Anyway, I'm going to catch up with you next week. Thanks again for sticking with me.